Now, it's important to give your tasks a home. That way, we can keep them out of our way when we don't want them around. But we can also have an easy time to get to them when we do want them around. These are the two of the most primary principles there are for organizing. Again, that's if we can keep something out of our way when we don't want it, but have it quickly handy when we do, it's organized. A project helps us do much of this. It can hold related tasks together and gives them a home. So think about the next action you just wrote. What is that about? Could that be a project? Once you have an idea of a project, enter it into the project field. Here I'm going to write, pick up the living room. I can select the area where it says no project and type pick up living room and type command return to create the project. I can hit return again and I have a project. This may not look like much, but we'll see how this helps us soon. Now that we've given the task a project, OmniFocus has enough information to get it out of the inbox. To clean up, use Command K. It's gone from the inbox. We've done everything we needed to do with that task, and OmniFocus has taken care of it. So let's go to our projects now. You can open your sidebar with Option Command S and select Projects. And we can see our project here now. You can also get back and forth between inbox and projects using key commands again. Command one will take you to the inbox. Command two will bring us to the projects. I'm gonna close the sidebar again, keep things as simple as possible. Now that we're in our project area, let's streamline this view. Hit shift, command V to open up our options for how things will appear to us. Currently, I have columns selected here, and in our layout, I have tags, fur date, and due dates selected. I also have show remaining selected over here. When you've made any changes, be sure to select save, and you can click away. One suggestion in using projects well is to think about what a project will look like when it's done. You may not be able to picture it clearly, and that's fine. Because really, you're crafting ideas of what will start getting you to the end of that project. What will get you there? Especially when you're working on something creative, you don't know what it's going to look like. But just the practice of trying to picture it can do a world of good. So take a few minutes to picture that now. Pause as you need. Whatever that issue is, Whatever that thing you're interested in is, take a few moments to picture it in your mind. What do you imagine it will look like when it's done? Now, while you're doing this, add any tasks about your project that come to mind. You don't need to think of everything that you need to do. Just whatever comes to mind is fine. But keep adding thoughts until nothing else comes to mind, even as you wait. So I'm going to add a few thoughts here myself, such as pick up items on the coffee table, straighten the shelf, actually let's say shelves, and vacuum. When you're done, when nothing else comes to mind, you now have a list of things you could do. If you'd like, you can arrange the tasks in any order that feels best for you by dragging and dropping. Now, so far, all we have is one project. At this point, if you'd like to, start creating and adding new ones. To do this, you can do so directly from the menu, or as my favorite thing to do is using a key command. Do that as Shift Command N. Let's focus on a small handful of projects to get a handle on how things in OmniFocus work. Eventually, 
you'll be able to add everything you need to do, big or small, to OmniFocus to help you clearly decide what to do next. For the time being, let's focus on a small handful. Here I've created a project for studying. Let's say I have a study group and we're working on reading The Wealthy Barber. If I want to look at all of my projects, I can open the sidebar with Option Command S and see any of the projects that I've already created. Now, of course, this isn't all there is to OmniFocus. You can do so much more than just create simple lists. In our next section, we'll start to consider tags.